This is um, a segment on the control. We're going to talk about uh, the most common error you might see in the screen. You're seeing a common view at the moment. The collector is running. The roof temperature at T1 is 107, 106 dropping. And then if I use the down arrow, you can scroll through the tank and the T1, T, uh, T1, T3, and T2 temperatures. They're all reading correctly. Uh, they're reading a, a, a temperature. The most common error you might see is you're looking at T1 and what you see in the screen, what happens is you will see this. And what that is in the screen, your, um, the controller is turned off, T1 is flashing and you have what looks like a lane, lane lines with one in the middle breaking down. That's a break in the line in the wire that runs from the controller to the roof. So it could be anywhere from the controller to the sensor, and it may be even be the sensor, although that's rare. But chances are it's a connection. Uh, an animal could have destroyed the wire, broke it. The connection that's made between the sensor wire, the sensor wire that you receive, which is about uh, four feet long and the wire you run up to the roof or to the collector that connection is faulty somehow usually that's where where the problem is the other place that there's a likely um, that this will occur is if the wire from the controller to the roof was run next to a hot copper pipe like the solar pipe and uh, the hot pipe over time uh, ruins the insulation on, in the wire and, and you get a short or a break in the wire. So this is the most common one, a break in the circuit. I'm going to reconnect the circuit and you'll see that there, that's a complete wire. You get, get the reading on the roof. The other fault you might see is if the wire is shorted. And that's again lane lines, but you have a little uh, bypass, a little connection in the middle. You can see that little reverse C in there. And again, the T1 sensor is flashing and you see that. That means there's a short in the wire. Um, could be the sensor, it could be, but rare, very rare. It could be the wire is somehow shorted together somewhere. Um, could be melted. I've seen it melted due to fire or high temperature and the two wires are connecting each other. So that's the second most common fault you see with the sensor on the roof. This can happen, again, I'm going to release what I'm going to do now. It's shorted now. That means there's a direct connection between the, the wires. It's a short. If this was high voltage, that would create a spark, but it's not, so not to worry. Now I've, I've removed the short, and now we have a break. So those are the differences. A break, that's a break in the wire, and then a short, or you want to call it a short circuit or shortcut. That's what that is. You can see that's a, a short and a break. Those are the two most common faults. You need to uh, uh, trace the wire and see where the problem is, call a technician to come out. Again, I'm going to put the um, connect it back up correctly. You get a reading from the roof. Now that fault or short uh, error code that you're seeing can happen can happen with T3 if usually that would be a, a break in the wire which is the which I'm gonna show you that again that's no that's a break again in T1 I'm just breaking the connection in T1 you may see that at T2 or T3 that generally means somebody pulled the wire out those rare uh, some you know, a cat, a kid, any animal or person or something happened and the wire was disconnected. Very, very rare that, that that's other than that. That can happen again on the roof, T1. It can happen with T3. It can also happen with T2. Um, what's common with T2, if you see the fault, a break, in T2 or a, sh a short, that error code, you may have just had your solar tank replaced and they, uh, the installer or plumber or whomever put the tank in forgot to um, 
move the sensor from the old tank to the new tank and hopefully you still have the old tank out there and grab that sensor because you've the tanks do not come with sensors so you need to transfer the sensor that's in the T2 sensor which is the same as the T1 and the T3 physically they're the same sensor um, they look like and I'm going to put it in the picture they look like that it's a stainless steel that is two inches long a quarter inch in diameter that's what's giving you the reading um, on all these readings, all these temperature readings, that's the sending unit. And then the wire is black, that's four feet long. So you, that's what you get. Don't cut the wire, just le never cut it. It comes four feet, just maintain that wire. Just wrap it up and put it aside. It's silicone wire. You may, for some reason, you may need that. Again, um, if you do change your solar tank, make sure the sensors are salvaged. If, if you do, you might have two top of tank. You might have T3 and T2, but the sensors are in the tank. You believe they're, they come with the new tank. They do not. So thank you for your time.